What is up guys and welcome back for another commentary. Um, if you do notice there's something a little bit different, it is that this is a public match. And the main reason I did this was because when you guys requested it, y'all said that you know that you were liking my commentaries. Um, I don't know your actual YouTube username, but um, I've heard this from a few people, so I figured I'd go ahead and try this out. Um, you said that you like my commentary, you just weren't really into competitive gameplay. So what I came up with is that I would do one competitive video and then the next video, whether it be, you know, one or two days later, it would be a public match. So, um, we'll see how that works out. I don't know if you guys are into that or not, um, but I'll try it. You know, I'll try to see how it works. But anyway, guys, um, what I wanted to talk about was something I thought was a little bit, um, you know, it, it would be an interesting topic. So what it is, is it's a guy named, I'm sure I'm going to say this wrong because he is Norwegian, but his name is Tarim Mostad. And, um, obviously that's probably not how it's pronounced, but, um, that's how I'm going to say it because, um, I don't know the correct way to say it. But anyway, um, you know, in my last video I said, you know, if you want to add me on Skype, you want to add me on any of the things above, go ahead and add me. You know, that still goes for this video. But, um, anyway, he added me and, um, I was talking to him and at the time I had no idea he was Norwegian. Um, you know, he was talking to me, I, you know, we were just saying basic stuff, you know, how's it like, you know, how you doing, you know, how's the weather and, um, stuff like that. And, um, but when he said, you know, how do you, what do you think my English is like? I was kind of caught off guard because I really did think that he was American. I, um, I, I, he, his English was really good. But what he told me was that all of his English that he knows how to say was from watching YouTube videos and YouTube commentators. And I thought that was, you know, that was pretty cool because, you know, that had to be kind of hard. And, you know, and I can kind of relate to this because what he said was, you know, in their class, you know, they learn, like, the basic rules of, of English, you know, and mainly they, their English is for um, business and stuff like that, is what he was telling me, was because, you know, like, um, England and stuff like that is in cl close proximity, and that is where, you know, you, they said that most of their business comes through, so it is kind of like a language they need to know. And for, for me, living in Texas, um, if I was to know another language, it would probably need to be... Um, uh, God, I can't think. Spanish. It needed to be Spanish because, you know, Texas is right next to Mexico. And um, many of the people that work here, many um, jobs. And um, I know where, you know, a job that I'm trying to get right now is, um, obviously, I can't speak Spanish fluently. I know basic words and basic stuff. But um, this guy actually knew great English. Um, but before I got off topic, um, th there's this place that I'm trying to get a job at. And they actually pay $2 more an hour if you can speak Spanish, just because it's in such high demand. Um, but like I was saying, you know, in my Spanish class, we just learn the basic rules. We don't learn stuff like um, how we would actually talk in like a real life situation. And that's basically what he was saying. You know, he knew he knew how to say certain words. He knew certain things like that. But he didn't really know how to communicate well in English until he started watching YouTube videos and YouTube commentaries. And um, that's the kind of the same thing for me because I. You know, I knew some Spanish words, knew some Spanish rules, you know, but um, I didn't really know how to speak it that well until I started listening to people that work with my dad or work for my dad, and um, that's how I got to know most of the Spanish I do, but um, don't ask me anything in Spanish if you know stuff in Spanish, because <laughs> um, I'm nowhere to where I would want to be in my Spanish speaking. But yeah, you know, I thought his story was pretty unique and pretty cool, so I figured I'd share it with you guys today. Um... What I want to talk about the rest of this video is my new team. Um, I've had this name before, you know. I'm, so, you know, don't if you've been on my recent team, um, the name is Team Valence, and um, you know, like the Valence are red electrons and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was pretty cool. But anyway, um, you know, I have a group of t people, and um, I didn't know these guys at all before. But like I say, you know, I've been teaming with the Teenage Osprey, so I just want to give these guys a quick little shout out, if you will. Um, I am Top Mark. He's actually. British. Um, he might not be British, but he has an accent like a British person. So I'm going to say he's British. Um, he's a really good player, so you'll see him in some of my vids. Indie Apathy, or I'm Above Top Mark, is um, he's a cool player. And then Rod Kentron, and then of course Teenage Osprey. That is currently Team Valiance. Um, obviously, you know, I know a few people messaged me today actually that they want to try out for a team, and that is completely cool. Never, never be um, afraid to ask if you want to try out for the team or play with me or whatever I'm completely down for that you know I'm even for that so if you want to try out or if you want to just scrim with us you know um, yeah just go for it just add me or send me a message and we will work that out but um big big 
yeah, I can't talk. Big thanks to those guys because, you know, they all knew each other and they kind of just let me join their team because I was looking for a team, you know, if you've been watching my videos. So um, I appreciate that, guys, and, um, you know, being fun team with you. So um, um, if you <laughs> if that doesn't apply to you, if you're not one of those guys, um, that will be kind of interesting because those people will be in my upcoming videos. So um, if you want to add those guys and scrim with them, you know, I'll put their names in the description. They're all really chill guys and really cool, and I'm sure they'll add you if you want to. Um, you know, if my friend list for some reason gets full, if you want to add them, um, go for it. Um, but um, this guy's name, I don't, I'm really sorry. I don't know his actual gamer tag. I know he's on my team, but um, his real name is Connor Sharp. And um, I just want to give a special thanks to him because he um, is probably the most dedicated team member um, anybody could ask for. He um, will never give up. He won't stop trying um and he has really good skills so um to all those people you'll be seeing in my upcoming videos and um, i really appreciate the support you gave me on my last one and hopefully we'll keep that going in this one and i hope you enjoy hearing about my norwegian friend and, um until next time i'd appreciate it if you would give me a like maybe subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys later i appreciate you watching peace out guys